You will now see a series of tests using the 8-foot T-handle temporary driven ground rod. In these tests, you will note an incredibly long duration time. At the conclusion of the film, I'll explain that. In the first test, we put the rod in the ground one foot. We had a rod to station resistance of 5 ohms, pulsing with a fault current of 2,650 amps for a duration time of 53 cycles. In the second test, we again put the rod in the ground one foot with a rod to station resistance of 26.5 ohms, pulsing with a fall current of 4,630 amps for a duration time of 123 cycles. Bear in mind that these tests were done in central Missouri in the dead of winter. In the third test, we put the rod in the ground six feet with a rod to station resistance of 17 ohms, pulsing with a fall current of 3,450 amps, again, for 123 cycles. There's ignition, and we have liftoff. In the final test, we used two rods in parallel. We put the rods in the ground six feet with a total rod to station resistance of nine ohms, pulsing with a fall current of 4,320 amps for a duration time of 61 cycles. We normally conduct these tests just before we go fishing. It gets all the worms out of the ground. Now let me explain something about those long duration times that you saw in the ground rod test. By using a long duration time coupled with a low fall current, we were able to simulate what would actually occur with a much higher fall current and a much shorter duration time. The AB Chance Company earnestly recommends whenever using a temporary driven ground rod, place it as far as possible from the work area and barricade it. Protect both yourself and your public. For more technical information and equipment details, refer to the Chance Encyclopedia of Grounding.